This is Coda. He's the smallest equine patient of his age that I've ever dealt with. Uh, he's currently 13 months, so, or 12 months old, so he was born last August. Um, he's an American miniature horse. Uh, a normal American miniature horse would stand probably 50% taller than him, perhaps this high, at the same age. But um, little Coda was born with a condition called dwarfism, which has made his stature very small. Has also made his head quite shortened, with a dished face, um, very upturned nostrils, and you can see his bottom teeth project out beyond his top teeth there. We call that an undershot jaw. Coda was also born with some, some joint problems, particularly in, in the lower limbs, and this joint here would dislocate as he walked, making it quite uncomfortable for him to walk and producing quite a pronounced lameness. What did you do to rectify that? We first recognised that Coda was having a bit, of, a bit of trouble with this joint when he was about four months of age. Unfortunately, that time um, coincided with the bushfires in Victoria, so we had an inundation of, uh, of, of burnt victims. So he was sort of put on hold for a while until he reached about seven or eight months of age, at which time we did an operation in this joint, which is illustrated on these x-rays here. We inserted a couple of screws through the joint to completely immobilise it and diffuse that joint and to prevent it from dislocating. We put a cast on the leg, a little fibreglass cast, which stayed on for two months, and uh, he convalesced in a little stable up the back um, until he was better. Started putting weight on the leg after well, a couple of days from the surgery, and now he runs around completely sound. He doesn't have any, any flexibility in this joint here, but the other joints seem to accommodate the movement. He's doing very well. You mentioned he had problems with his teeth as well. That's right. So as a result of having the, the dished and shortened face, Coda's teeth, now all horses' teeth, are sort of pre-programmed to erupt and continue to erupt through their life. And as they erupt, the silicates and gritty stuff in their diet wear down the tooth surface to keep it down at a, at a proper level. Unfortunately, because Coda's teeth don't line up, and because his head is so short, there's both insufficient room for his teeth to emerge, and he doesn't have a full grinding surface against each tooth, because it doesn't line up with the tooth opposite it. So as a result, we're going to have to extract some teeth in the back of Coda's mouth, a bit like wisdom teeth. And, and that's the skull of a fully grown adult horse? That's right. This just demonstrates the difference in size and also in the, in the shape of the skull. And you can see the adult horse has one, two, three, four, five, six cheek teeth. Coda currently has one, two, three. The fourth ones are on their way out. They're still just under the gum, soon to erupt. Um, but I doubt very much whether he'll have room for the fifth and sixth ones. So we'll probably have to extract these. And is his life expectancy the same as a, a normal horse? We certainly hope so. Yeah, we certainly hope Coda reaches a, a good age. We'd be happy with um, probably 10 years. We'd be certainly very happy with 20 or 30 years. And how much does he weigh? Coda weighs 35 kilograms. And his height? 59 centimetres.